if you throw this one-way smoke just a bit lower so it barely goes red uh let me line it up gray right here it's slightly wider and this guy here now can no longer spot your walk up this guy can't spot the walk up and now let me throw the normal one so you can see the difference you see this guy can spot the walk up if you enjoy the content don't forget to like subscribe and join my official discord over at discord.gg slash woohoojin here you can enter free raffles to win free vod review live on stream you can also support me with a premium membership which unlocks access to private vct restreams professional player analysis shared professional strategy channels and much more enjoy the video i think um double controller is going to be really meta in spike rush because you can use omen specifically for orb denial not for map control but orb denial and i'm going to show you what i mean it's not his flash it's actually his smokes so I'm going to use the A main orb as our example here because it needs to be an orb like on the ground. So Omen can actually smoke like this on an orb and it makes it impossible for somebody to take it. Notice you don't see anything and you're sticking out right now. Like the enemy team can swing you while you tap that orb and you're like such a free kill. So like if there's a golden gun and the enemy team has like control of it, you just toss a smoke like this and the enemy team can't get the golden gun. Because when the look, I'm standing right now, not crouched. It's like so easy to heck and kill this guy now. If we get close, I can bind, uh, blind switch. Yeah, careful with your comms. I just be like, I'm going to blind switch when you go out yet. Like this, if we get close, I can blind switch. It's a little wishy-washy and unnecessarily vague. Darn smokes. Yeah, um, I'm down for that smoke that bulbs out. But normally when you use that smoke that bulbs out is because you're going for this type of TP play. Let me show you. If you're gonna bulb the smoke out, it's normally because you're gonna TP up here on the side of it, safe from stairs and CT, and then you can walk in, right? But we're not doing that this round. I can tell you that for a fact, because you don't have TP. So our smoke should be going flush with the door. This is harder for them to walk out of, okay? This smoke's better for our current scenario. Okay, I'm out, I'm out. Yeah, yeah, please do not shift walk across a smoke like this. You're exposing yourself to unnecessary risk. If they happen to spam the smoke, you're dead. You need to run across. Okay, I'm out. No way this is diamond. Oh, all the diamond players are going to cope every time we watch a diamond VOD. Jets you guys suck at the game, man. I have a smoke in two. Okay, okay. I'm actually holding this smoke. If I had to smoke anything for the team, it would have been Guardian as they're crossing. However, they're already crossing, right? And now smoking heaven, not that useful, as I'm sure you agree. And I think this timing you have is a little unsuspected. It's a little tricky. And the moment you smoke here, it uh, kind of gives away your cards. And also, if I am, uh, you threw it. You threw it poorly. Let me show you. So this smoke you threw, that's an angle. I can see you. You need to throw it flush with this fridge thing out here. Okay. And now this smoke is still great because they can't peek out of both sides because this fridge blocks them on this side. Right. So they still can only really swing out of it one way. And now look, no threat. Okay. I'd actually put my crosshair. Uh, this is probably going to be a hindsight situation, but I'm going to put it here. Uh, at this timing, I would have expected them to come out mid already. And it's not unlikely that they try and clear you catwalk when they come tree. Oh, I think it's too early. I've got one on me. Eight. Never mind. He's bad. One's. Yeah, we're rushing it. We're rushing it. Look, I'm nitpicky because I'm an omen main, right? But you kill that guy. I want this smoke, right? This smoke, one way's the bomb. The bomb's planted right here. If they go to defuse, look, they're so screwed. How do they defuse that? So throw that smoke, back up cat, chill out. Pressure on. Oh, we're, call we're calling. We're gonna go cat. I'm gonna smoke a uh, bottom mid and then tree, and then we're gonna walk up cat, chip walk. I wouldn't smoke both. I would hold the second smoke for garden when you're pushing into tree. Uh, let's have and I don't like this cat smoke. This gives them room to play around, in my opinion. I'll like it more if you at least spray into it before you walk in. Hey, let me join, let me join. If you just walk in, I hate it. Oh, I hate it, I hate it. It's very likely that they were in here. Yeah, we need to be more comfortable getting a fast pick like this and going, let's hit, let's go. Right, you've killed her. You've got full A main control. You now have tree control. Go. Uh, you're facing a team on eco, right? They're down around. The odds that they've pushed out B main, quite high. Rotating like this is really bad. All right, you go around. Let's see it. Do not buy. You better not buy. You get that ghost from your sova. Let's go B. Or no, we can just no. default because they're going to have guns. No, no, just take sova's ghost. 
No! Our money! What are you doing? So you should go light armor. That's the only buy I'd approve of. And take this dude's ghost. And then just take one of your buddy's guns when they die. You can call default and look at our team. Wait. Yeah, default, uh, they're gonna have gun advantage. Default's a terrible call, by the way. So we don't wanna, we wanna get a gun. Nobody knows what default means. Everyone thinks default means something different. One person may think it means play slow, play for picks. One person may think it means three mid, one B, one A. One person may think it means two A, two mid, one B. One person may think it means silver dark cat, omen smoke bot mid. Somebody else may think it means silver dark bot mid, smoke cat. Who knows? Not us. You should instead come. How do you call it default properly? You never use the word default until you set it up. So you'd be like, yo, I'm going to control a main. I'm going to smoke your cat. Silver, can you dart bot mid? Reyna and Sage will peek from uh, tiles. We'll have jet peek top mid and silver control B main. That's going to be our default. Okay, guys. Then next round, you can call default. Chill it. I'm pushing mid. I hit him. I think this is too fast. I think you're going to get peeked. Because your teammates aren't out B main yet, the odds that a rotator checks you mid or this market player checks you mid or they walk out of cat is too high. I hear one. Yeah, I see one market. One's coming, Kevin. This late lurk up mid is actually really strong here. Um, I don't know if you meant to do this, but this is a really abnormal play Close the door. in these scenarios. So it's highly I'm likely that up. they don't clear you. Enemy Easy. On bomb. Got my shark dart down. NT, NT. We can play this better, right? On bomb. So at this point, the bomb's player, we should throw that one way on the bomb. And then you know what we do? I'm a, I'm an asshole in the clutch, by the way. I'm the hardest person to beat in a clutch. I throw that smoke. She tests bomb. I TP right here. And this jet is 100% sure that I'm top gen. There's no doubt in her mind that I'm top gen. She starts spraying and I just walk out and kill her. Every time. That's just messed up. Yeah, like all of you see that play and you're like, yeah, that's winning. You can drop his gun. And give him knives. Yeah. That's called. So I've been explaining this concept to Rag. This is what consistency truly is. Um, consistency isn't being top frag in your lobby. Consistency is feeling comfortable with all of the plays you make all the time. Never feeling uncomfortable. Um, what you're feeling here is uncomfort. I'm sure in this clutch, you don't know what to do. You look uncomfortable. When you see me make this play on stream, it looks really comfortable, doesn't it? You're like, oh, that's good. And then I kill them. You're like, that looks really comfortable. Do you know why it's comfortable? Because I've planned for this. I've been in this scenario many times and felt uncomfortable. And when I feel uncomfortable, I don't just go, ah, whatever. I, I lost. I write it down. And the next time I'm watching an omen on ascent, I pay attention to how they handle similar scenarios and try to update my playbook to become more comfortable. Okay. The more comfortable you get, the better you're going to feel in your games, regardless of if you win or lose. Like the example I gave to one of my private students recently is you know when you're like aim training and you're doing like the big non-moving orbs like one wall six targets te or grid shot it's really comfortable right you're chilling but then you do the small ones that move and you're like oh god oh god aim mastery is when the you feel comfortable doing the small ones that move right that doesn't mean you're gonna get a high score every time a game mastery is when you feel comfortable in these difficult situations it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna win the round but being comfortable is like should be your ultimate uh, he goal. Actually can't afford to buy. They closed door A. Yeah, so this Raze is playing the Jing playbook. Um, he's jiggling here with na nade and throwing it off contact and using Boombot. So I, I would like there's two things he's doing right now. He's either running cat to rotate this way, or he's pushing up right now and he's gonna fight you. And this is just a, a game sense thing. Like I know for sure he's playing the Jing playbook. So your crosshair should be on the right here, right? I don't know why it's floating like this. And now I'd assume she's rotating. Yeah, holy cow, your team's out and the smokes are not down. I'm gonna smoke CT in old boathouse. CT smoke. Pet peeve, pet peeve. Do not call it boathouse. You know why? Everybody calls boathouse two different things. It's counter strafing. People use the word to mean two different things. Some people call this boathouse because there's a boat right here. And then other people call this boathouse because there's a boat right here and it's called boathouse on the minimap. Now this should be called boathouse, okay? It's called that on the minimap. This is Boathouse, okay? I know what you're talking about. However, call this lever or switch and call this B back site. Lever and back site. Back site. Do not call it Boathouse. It's too confusing. 
Some people will think you mean switch. This fight's no good. This is a 145 headshot for a sheriff at this range. There's no shot this guy did from Ultos. Smoking heaven. I think we just need to go. Your comms don't inspire confidence. <laughs> who are you following into battle? The omen who says, I think we just need to go. Or the omen who's saying, yo, they're going to rotate fast. We've got no map control. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to flash. Run out. Run out. Go. Attack. Flashing. I'm ready to TP. Who, who are you following? Who are you following? Come on. Be real. Diamonds be out here calming the hit like this. They closed door. They're smoking heaven. I think we just need to go. And then they'd be like, why don't my teams come with me? Wuhujin, you say your diamond teammates follow you, but you're lying. They don't follow me. No, dude. You're not leading. Hey, we got He's the site. Oh. <laughs> you just opened door. You, this is not valid. You can't be like, yeah, you know what? There's two threats. So I'm going to put my crosshair in the middle and in training range hard bots flick to the first one. The moment you're like worried about both, bro, pick one. This is way more comfortable. <laughs> Right? Um, you should slow flash that. Go, 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 go. Not fast flash. He's smoking. It's longer effective CC. Watch my Haven guide for more information on why. Dude, it didn't bump. This TP is good, but remember, um, our, we shouldn't be TPing into the smoke. We're TPing on the side of the smoke and then walking into I'm the... I'm in market. One's lane. Smoke. One more stair. You're not about to do this. Oh, I thought you were about to walk into market. Bro, bro. Bro, you have a death wish? One's market. This looks so uncomfortable. Remember, remember this feeling, Cobalt. When a round feels uncomfortable, you need to write it down. You need to tell yourself, that wasn't good. Why wasn't it good? So first of all, the smoke belongs out here if you're doing this play. Because now you can TP next to it, not into it. This is really important. Because if they're in that smoke, you're dead. But now you're chilling. Now you can walk in. If you're going to contest market, you do it by holding this smoke. They're going to walk into it if they're going to push out. Okay. You don't walk this way. You're going to get shot because these guys over here, right? They're shooting. These guys are very likely to come out by the way. Right? So you play in the smoke, holding them. If you want to walk across, you just come across real quick and you peek like stairs this way. You don't play in that smoke. You don't push into market. If you want to push into market, you want to try and time like a tricky TP like this. You can actually, if you time it right, you can silently jump up here if you practice it. Uh, let me see if I can get it. It's like you walk here. Almost, almost. You have to take nearly one step. You get like roughly to this back light. I learned this lineup earlier. And you can like barely make this jump. And I would have gone for this type of thing here. And like tried to peek this raise. Yeah, yeah, right before you jump, you press shift. Bam, silent, silent. Thank you. Who typed, who typed, who typed? Zach? Look at that, I can do it consistently. Thank you, Zach. Learn that, learn that. You press shift right before you jump, okay? We need to be ready for that. That's where the dart lands, okay? That's where it lands. That's the normal lineup. That guy didn't do anything special. I'm that dart can't reveal you. All right, we're min-maxers here, man. We're min-maxers. I want you to do everything right. Watch this. You're an omen main. You're holding A against the sofa. Are you holding here? If that dark comes, you break it instantly. And then I want you doing this. Okay, I want you doing this smoke. You wait a bit. You throw it. Once this arrow disappears, you peek. You see their legs. You get some free damage. Then you play this flash. There's a lot of value we could have milked from this position that we left on the table that we should be taking. It's our value. Blinding now. Great flash. Great flash. Look at this. This dude's even running out wall flash. One spec site. You need to chill. What the best controller players do in intense situations when they know that there's danger is they just throw a smoke and they play in it. And you give yourself time to think. Okay? This should be your default reaction when there's stress. I don't want our default reaction to be to swing this guy. Okay? Should be to toss a smoke and play in it. Don't you dare you're not about to peak tiles with a specter alone on a that's round losing that's round losing if they killed you here the round's almost certainly lost this is too much risk on our buy round they have no guns right they've got pistols and whatnot don't take risk like this please rotate through spawn play a retake it's fine it's fine 
Where, where, where was it at? Stop! 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 I'm gonna stop. just sit in mid for a bit. Stop! Stop! They saw me. Get out of mid! Oh. <laughs> stop! Cobalt! Cobalt! I beg of you! I beg of you! Stop this nonsense! Get out of here, please! No, Cobalt! Stop! 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 Sofa's on me. 85 jet. Smoking beam main again. Oh, I can't watch. No he just way. threw this round! He threw the whole round! Cobalt. This is exactly how I want you to play when they have guns. When you've got the cheap ones. When you've got the expensive guns. You just go through spawn and you just play with the friends and you let them take mid. It's no big deal. Hey. Okay, now how do we get comfortable on our A hold now that we're watching back Cobalt? We hold this dart first, then we smoke, we throw it in the sky, and we peek and shoot their feet. On sight. You see the problem? We're uncomfortable now, and it's a problem. It's a problem. Jets to heaven, jets to heaven. The moment you become uncomfortable, I need you to change your reaction though, okay? You're uncomfortable, smoke yourself. Play in it and just, you're chilling. Think now, now you have time. This smoke always gives you time to calm down and think. You're chilling, you're chilling, you're chilling. I hate this. I think this ult advertises to the enemy team that we might be flank. And now our Sova's flank, which could have been unexpected, is very expected. Now this is a eco round. I hate it, right? We're not doing anything weird. Okay. Smoking it. Oh, death ball yeah. out A, death ball out B. Do something weird. Yeah. Nice, I'm behind them. <laughs> All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. This is where we start gambling. What's more likely? They're holding here while their team hits A, or the guy's walking back right now to check flank. Which of these two is more likely? And then look at where your crosshair is. Our crosshair needs to be here. You didn't even check it. You're, you're like, yeah, I'm going to check this angle. Never mind. If you're going to hey, do something, at least do it right. 81 Sova. Nice. He's on me. Watch out for mine. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Stalled him over to the other side. Oh, I've got the most min max bullshit you're ever going to see. If you throw this one way smoke just a bit lower so it barely goes red, uh, let me line it up. Gray right here, it's slightly wider. And this guy here now can no longer spot your walk up. This guy can't spot the walk up. And now let me throw the normal one so you can see the difference. You see? This guy can spot the walk up. You want to throw it just a pixel lower. Because now this guy can see you walking up if he's crouched right here. So you're only going to see like the serious pro omens do this. But they do it a pixel lower. And you can still see their feet. And now you see, look. Can't spot the walk up. Red arrow, the trick. Yes, yeah, so the trick is actually, I'll show you. It's easier to see when I line it up B main. When I throw the one way smoke, look at this bottom lip here in the UI. You see it? That bottom lip down here. I'm lining up the smoke so it cuts it in half. Okay, so right here is like the perfect one way. It cuts that lip in half down there. Okay. And that's what I'm lining up over a main as well.